The forming of a planet has long been a mysterious process, but now astronomers are getting a chance to see how it happens. Earlier today, Meg Oliver and Anne-Marie Green talked to CBS News science contributor Michio Kaku about how the planet was born. It's time to pass out the cigars. <laughs> we so, are witnessing a new planet being born, like watching a newborn come out of the womb. How did astronomers discover this? Well, this is the Kodak moment, the moment we've been waiting for. You know, in outer space, there are so many planets and stars. We see them in all stages of their life cycle, uh, adolescence, middle age, even death. But we've never snagged that instant when a new planet is being born. This is great. So I, I was trying to figure it out. What are astronomers actually seeing? I mean, there's lots of stuff going on up there when you, when you look up in outer space. What was that thing that made them go, oh, that's special? Well, what happens is the sun used to be a gigantic ball of gas over four billion years ago, but it was spinning. And gravity began to compress it. And then it began to spin faster and faster, just like a skater bringing in his or her arms on the skating ring. And it flattened out into a disk. And out of the disk came the planets. And that's what we're seeing. We see the disk with all the debris. And in all the debris, we see these little baby specks forming. And that is, they, these are the planets that we see. Can we see this with the naked eye? Not with the naked eye. And it takes a very special method to do this. You have to take two photographs using two gigantic telescopes, superimpose them on top of each other, and bingo, you can snag that Kodak moment. So you talked about all these little baby specks. Does that mean there might be more than one planet in that mix? Up to three, mm -hmm. of which only one has been verified. But look, it could be triplets. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well, it's time to, is there a name out there after you <laughs> hand out the cigars? Then you typically name them. Uh, well, not a, familiar, not a familiar name like Betty or John. <laughs> and plus, it's 450 light years from Earth, so you're not going to be able to visit it anytime soon. Right, right. So, you know, I read that the difficult, one of the reasons why this is so special is because planets don't spend a lot of time being born, all things relative. That's right. But it's going to take a while for this to become an actual planet. That's right. Good. Our Earth is four and a half billion years old, but it only took tens of millions of years to form it. So in the lifetime of the Earth, only a tiny fraction of it was in its formation. Mm. So this is like a time machine. We're going backwards in time and seeing the Earth being born, and that's why we're so interested in this. It gives us insight into our own birth. Hey, Cray, <laughs> over a picture that astronaut Scott Kelly posted on Twitter, in the upper right-hand corner, can right you there. see that large object? It seems to be, like, brighter than the other stars, and some people said it even looks maybe like two headlights, perhaps headlights on a UFO. Uh, you've taken a look at that picture. I don't, what, what do you think? Well, I tell my friends who claim to have been abducted by a flying saucer, <laughs> if you're in a flying saucer, steal something. Right. I don't care what it is. Steal a, a pen, a paperweight, anything so you have bragging rights after you leave the flying saucer. DNA, Otherwise, right? you're just empty-handed. <laughs> or if someone does forbidden experiments on you, get some alien DNA. Right. That would end the controversy right there, then and there. It's over. So when you see a picture like that, you go, we've never had any proof of a UFO before. Is that really proof of a UFO? Eyewitness accounts are not enough. Even photographs. It could be a smudge. Uh, it could be reflection off somebody's windshield. Yeah. It could be almost, almost anything. And that's why we want something tangible, an alien chip, alien DNA. Uh, then the debate is over. Great advice. Now yeah. we know what to do, right? Yeah, I don't plan on being abducted anytime <laughs> soon, though. <laughs> Steal something. Right? All right, I'll remember. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Kaku. Always great to hear your insight.